Chin Chin, who are you? I am a dancer, a mover, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Welcome to Write for the Stage. My name is Nicole and I am a playwright. That means I like to write and I like to tell stories too. I'll bet some of you watching this video also like stories. <laughs> well, I hope you do because today I'm here to teach you how to tell your own stories. This video is called Telling a Story with your body. You will need your body, some room to move around, and that's it. I'm so excited to have a special guest with us today. This is Chin Chin. Hi, this is Chin Chin. Chin Chin, who are you? I am a dancer, a mover, a martial art artist, or you can just call a person that does different kind of dance a movement artist. That's who I am. So Chin Chin is the perfect person to help us learn how to tell stories with our bodies because she uses her body to make art. Thank you so much for coming to help me. Yeah. So are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. First, we need to get ready to move. If you can stand up, that's great. You can also choose to sit down. Decide what feels best for your body today. Next, make sure you have enough room around you so that you can move without running into somebody else or hurting yourself. Do you have room? Good. Now Chin Chin is going to teach you some moves that you can use to tell any story you want. I'll say the words and you follow Chin Chin with your body. Ready? Here we go. Once upon a time. Let's try again. Once upon a time. And one more. Once upon a time. Very good. The next movement is for one day. Here we go. One day. Good. One day. See the sun and moon? One day. Nice job. And so. You pound your hands together. And so, very good. One more, and so, nice job. But then, but then, but then, good, and now we go to the other side. And then, and then, and then, very good. Finally, see how her hands move? Finally, very nice. One more time. Finally, good job. And they all lived happily ever after. That's a free dance. Move your body however you want. Up, down, side, side. The end. This is where we take a bow. Let's do one more. The end. Nice job. Chin Chin, those were some really good moves. Thank you. Now it's time for our first story. So I will say the words of the story and you all follow along with Chin Chin moving your body. Are you ready, Chin Chin? Yes. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a squirrel. 
that lived in the big city. One day, the squirrel decided that he wanted to see the forest. And so, he got in his little squirrel car and he drove all the way to the forest. But then the squirrel got lost. And then it started to get dark. And so the squirrel knew that he had to find someone who could help. Finally, the squirrel met a friendly beaver who could show him the way. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Nice job. That was so fun. Should we tell another story together? Let's do it. Okay, so storytellers, are you ready for a little challenge? I think so. I think so too. I think you all are ready. So Chin Chin, will you tell them what the challenge is? Yes. So instead of following me doing my movement, you will be the one making up movement. So I will still guide you with my words, but you'll only see Chin Chin for part of the time so you can make up your own movements. I can't wait to see what you make up. <laughs> me neither. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a girl. How can you use your body to show the girl in the story? Is this girl a very tall girl? Or maybe she's a very short girl? Is she very strong and muscular and loves to play soccer? Or maybe she's quiet and shy and she loves to draw. Good job. There was a girl that lived in a house. How can you show a house with your body? Is your body a big, huge house with so many bedrooms and fences and all kinds of stuff outside? Or maybe your body is a cozy little cottage in the woods with only a few rooms and a nice warm fire. Very good. One day, the girl's parents brought home a little baby. Aw, how can you show a little baby using your body? How do you hold a little tiny baby in your arms? Very nice. And so, the girl was now a big sister. How can you use your body like a big sister? What does a big sister do? Does a big sister have strong arms to protect their little sibling? Does a big sister get kind of annoyed at their little sibling and say, hey, stop asking me to use my toys all the time? Good job. But then the little baby was crying and crying all night long. Oh my goodness. How can you show a crying baby? What does a crying baby do? What does a crying baby's face look like? Oh, very sad. And then the big sister could not sleep. How does your body move when you can't sleep? Do you rub your eyes a lot like you're so sleepy? Or maybe do you move your body slowly because every single step is so difficult when you're sleepy? Good job. And so, 
what could the big sister do? The big sister asked her parents to play some soft music for the baby. What would it feel like if your body was soft music? How does soft music move? Is it slow? Is it maybe very soft and gentle? Is it low on the ground? Good work. Finally, the baby fell fast asleep. What does a sleeping baby look like? Good job. And they all lived happily ever after. Free dance. The end. That was so good. Now, Chin Chin, would you be willing to show us the moves you made up too? Sure. Awesome. You all can follow along with Chin Chin's moves or you can do your own moves one more time. Let's do it. Once upon a time, there was a girl that lived in a house. One day, the girl's parents brought home a little baby. And so, the girl was now a big sister. But then, the little baby was crying and crying all night long. And then the big sister could not sleep. And so the big sister asked her parents to play some soft music for the baby. Finally, the baby fell fast asleep. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. That's it, you're done. You learned how to tell a story with your body. I hope you had a good time. Chin Chin, if they really liked moving their bodies and like you, they might wanna be a movement artist, what could they do next? Good question. I would think that dancers, you can try dance at home. Think about how you would dance on a cold day under the blanket. How would you dance on a hot day under a blanket? Or when you take a hot shower, when you take a cold shower, your body dances differently. So try it out at home. That's a really good idea. I have so many ideas in my mind now. I'm thinking about being hot, thinking about being cold. That's great. Thank you, Chin Chin. And I hope some of you will try that. So thank you for watching Right for the Stage. I'll see you next time. Bye.